I'm back and welcome to the new Zong plays. We are going to play Through the Woods, which is based on Norwegian mythology. Excuse me. Um, it's about a mother retelling the story of how she lost her son. Um, that's all I know about the game. Uh, it is meant to be a psychological thriller game. Uh, I thought it was very something different from uh, what we've been playing recently. So we will get straight into it. I We shall uh, carry on with the game. Uh, it says continue. I've played a little bit of it just to check. Hey, uh, it does. Um, so hopefully it'll take us back to the beginning because I didn't save any of it. I just here we go. Western Norway. I mean the graphics are pretty nice. And that would be a very nice getaway if you wanted a weekend getaway. Which I'm presuming this is what <laughs> what they're doing. I'm gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay. Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Oh, playing as the sun first, okay. I mean, she said keep away from the pier. I kind of want to go to the pier. There's a lot of choices. I mean, I said I didn't want to go to the pier. I said don't go to the pier, but I kind of. Okay, coming. But obviously there's something that we're in the wall. It's giving me the um um life is strange feelings with the music. Mom, wake up. <clears throat> wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, Esben. <sighs> Pop. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Esben, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom. But it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Okay. Look at the stars, Espen. You wait right here. Please tell me he doesn't disappear from going to the toilet. Of course. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. We could make some hot chocolate. Mom! 
problems. Go away! Just wait at the path. I can't go while you're standing there. <laughs> okay, little man. If you say so. You done, Espen? <sighs> Espen? I mean... Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. Gonna be down the pier, right? I mean it, Espen. Come out. <laughs> Jesus, Espen. What are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. Find I don't with know the if light. I want to make this shit anymore. <laughs> I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catching crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier's broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. He's going to go down there in the morning. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know. I can forgive myself. Or Espen. Uh, Espen? I mean, I don't know if he was meant to be flickering in and out then. Why didn't you wake me up? Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. Read. Hi, Mom. You're always asleep when wake me up. I wake up. Really boring. Going out to play. Okay. I loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight, and his drawings fascinated me. He soaked up the world, and it bled from his imagination to the page in pastels and pen. The process always seemed to distill the harsh... I mean, I'm not sure why we couldn't go out of the patio doors, but... Espen? <sighs> it's freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? Espen? I hope you're not down by the pier! I told you that thing's dangerous. Oh, he's down by the bed. Wow. Espen, talk to me, little man. Hey! Hey! Get away from my son! Jesus! Jesus! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, I'm coming! Oh, fair play to her. No! Oh, Please! Espen! Espen! I mean, that's... I mean, he looked Viking. Espen! No! Espen! Through the world.
Is it going to be one of these where it turns out that it's all in her head? Like she hasn't got a son or something? There's the boat. Yeah, I was gonna say your your phone's all alive. It is like where the hell do you go? Oh. The music's getting intense, so I'm presuming I'm going the right way. I'm guessing that's the whole point of the game, through the woods. I've got to remember in these kind of games, search everywhere. Hey, is someone there? I mean, I'm intense at the moment because I'm waiting for like a jump scare or something. Uh, old Eric village tales, villagers tales. The old bastard came to the village. Yes, yes, Devar. The cabin awesome took a reader's reader's boy away. The bastard. Saw him coming though we set a watch some weeks ago. The boy didn't make a sound, the wretched thing. We all aimed to go up there the there at last and put an end to this, but for the gates, the first gates won't open for those such as us. All we can do is bid and hope Peter's boy was the last. The corruption of the man, his heart he has one if he has one, must be rotten as a mouth dead swine, and our gods do nothing, a curse of the whole best Nesting pile of them. Curse on the murdering bastard, Eric. Okay then. Eric. There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good, or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later I wasn't so sure. Wonder if we could pick up then. No. Okay. 
them. Look everywhere. I'm only running because you know me, I don't like walking in as I have to. Go this way. Go. Uh, Raka? Village, village Towers. And I do apologise if I pronounce any of these names or words wrong. I am not the best. Even though I love to read, I am not the best, like, announcing. Spider glimmer from the watchtower in the night. It must be this strange racker man lighting his lanterns again. The way his skulls around in the dark makes me grip my bow tighter. But he's the only one who keeps the paths lit and carries off, and carries off the dead. He's been doing it longer than anyone can remember, though no one knows why. Hardly one sees. I'm a bit it either. I'm about it either. He only works in the night. The old uns leave buckets of bread outside the fence now and then to keep him, him fed. Always gone the next morning. Unless I watch it through the night, then it goes stale and gets taken by the crows. Such as much as I watch out for the old racker, he has his eye. He has his eyes yet better tamed mine. Okay. His assistance. He must have dropped it. I'm coming, Espen. Espen loved his reflection. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more, a trail, and that as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. So that was a hint if I'm on the right track then. It, um, if I find the reflectors, I'm on the right track. A rock star. How you pronounce it? I think they're way ahead of you. way at least we're on the right track oh, that's Espen's flashlight I was worried it's going to be one of those games where it's completely open world oh. and you could just get lost
way she's talking is she's telling someone the story. It doesn't sound like she finds him again. Espen must be cold without his jacket. When I saw Espen's jacket there on the ground, it felt like something inside me broke. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He had been taken from me. His coat. His little coat lying in that dark place. I was his mother. I was supposed to protect him. He trusted me, and I let him down, as I had so many times before. His jacket was a symbol of my failure. I promised myself I would find him and bring him back. I just hoped that was a promise I could keep. Verse of Rick. Like I said, there's just check there's no map. I don't fully know where we're going, I'm just randomly selecting ways to walk, which at the moment appear to be working for me. I mean, I am waiting for a jump. St I'm still waiting for a jump scare to happen. Let's go. All right, okay. Jesus Christ, what is that? Dead. Um, that took me ages to realize something was coming. Um, well, the question is, is he going to be here again? No, it sounds like he's more behind. I mean, that was oh, it gave me shivers. That was freaky as fuck. There's me going, oh, I'm waiting for a jump scare. That one, all right. Looks like I need He's after me again. Oh god. Oh. 
I mean, it is scary when you hear him in the ears and he's right behind you. Um, I'll sh uh, this time we'll see if we can get into that cabin quicker. I mean, now I'm thinking about it and I've looked at it properly. I mean, it does say there. Um. If we make our way back to where we came from. So we found our way. Keep the light off the moment. Oh no, we just ended up here again. Balls. Um, Chase. That just leads us back to where we were. So, um, We'll go up here and see because last time we struggled a bit because we obviously were getting chased by that dude. Team dude. Like we need a handle. Too sure which way he went. I know how it sounds. Other than that, it doesn't look but it's true. All of it's true. I can't explain it. 
I can hardly believe it, but it happened. The moon. When I was young, I found some photos of my parents in an old shoebox at their house. I was looking for Christmas presents. They looked so young and in love before I was born. I remember they didn't look like the people I thought I knew. There was something different about them I couldn't understand. I was lifting a veil, and I knew these pictures were not for my eyes. The island was like that. The journals, the troll, the broken moon. I wasn't supposed to see those things. I was intruding on something secret, and I didn't belong there. That is something in the water. Get off the pier. This is the thing, I don't know which way to go. Oh, so this is the Cannot eat porridge at the troll. Where the troll is. I thought they were goading you into following. Uh huh. I mean, I'm scanning everything in the distance. But I'm roll run into another frigging troll. I think it's fucking daylight now. The water, the water, something in the water. Yep, I know there's something in the water. Seen the bloody thing. There are other girls. The old bastard may even come for our woman. I'll not let you put us all in danger. Hello. Hello. Oh, let me go, coward. Why? Let me go. Ah. Uh, you stabbed me. Hello? Uh, to Ingrid. Ingrid, my darling, I've done something terrible and I have shamed you and myself. I wanted to fight for you and make you see. Uh, I know this was a foolish nation and your father saw it true, set out to try and stop old Eric. Eric, uh, for, for you to claim ye, that ye meant to stop me. I cut him, I cut his neck and he bled out. I can't wait here for Eric to take ye. I can't. I know I'll never again forgive me or the gods, but I'm leaving. Don't be scared, my sweet girl, and don't search for me. Perhaps Long will raise the sails and join your father. Father upon the lovely ocean once. 
They were here. I heard them. And this paper is so old. Where the door would have been. Brothers, I found, I found. I see what's in there. Collected. Right, interact flag. Okay, no, there's no infantry in this. Okay, I mean, it's fair enough. Going this way again. I'm sure we'll run into more calls and you know I'm not prepared for it but I don't want to go in the water anymore. Because if that thing's there I don't want to be in there either. Off we go again. When Espen was younger, his father did something terrible to Espen, to me, to himself. I was left all alone with a child I couldn't confide in. It didn't give me the chance to say I was sorry, and I never forgave him. But in the forest, I was alone again. Desperate for the person I loved the most. And right then, I could almost understand why Espen's father did what he did. The troll. I'm running back into the troll. Oh god, how many trolls are there? It wasn't a troll. Uh, a troll, it was a light. I mean, I heard that before I even saw the writing. Hello? Is someone there? Please!
God damn it. Talk to me. Come out. I heard you whispering. Hey! Stop! I just want to talk to you. I mean, I'm going off the bias that I'm spinning the reflectors and the little light candle. I'm going the right way. Um, I could be completely going the wrong way and going into it. Missing daughter, villagers' tales. Curse the old bastard, Eric. But curse him. Joran was missing this morning. It's been him. I looked down the well and by the bridge, but Joran were, were always afraid of the water. Found brute prints outside the window, more inside of Joran's cot. Bastards nearly five years early. Why? What would bless him? Thought of my little girl being dragged up the fountain to face such a fate. Villagers gathered and agreed the wolf must have re renard of his bargain Vindish beasts must part, crave more children to salt its first never-ending hunger and we're not allowed injustice we must we're powerless to stop him that they blasted powerless the man folk say it's all for the greater good spat out their fate and bid farewell to the whole coward broad they could stand to look at eric's house kill no Ooh. Eric's. I'm presuming that's where we're going. Oh, thank God. Hello? Oh, excuse me. Uh, my son's been taken, and I just. <laughs> oh, you're too late, bastard! Too late! He's done! <laughs> Huh? I'm looking for my son. An old man with a white beard took him. And I think they came this way. Please, have you seen them? He's done! Don't you see? Ye whore, son! Ye shan't take her from me now, Eric! Ye shan't take her! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not Eric. I won't touch your daughter. Who is he? Does he have my son? Please, I need to know. The wolf. You simpering bitch. The wolf. The bastard was to take my little one to appease the great wolf. But I sent her on with a kiss. <laughs> I sent my little girl on. <laughs> Oh my god, please, don't tell me that's your daughter. Look what you made me do! Look at her! Ye hateful bitch! 
My baby! My beautiful boy! Oh, Christ! No! I had to do it! Tell me I had to! Bastard! Bitch! The wolf will never accept a child so cold! <laughs> please, please. Um, we're just gonna. Um, I mean, he freaked me out that he was outside when I went in. the house for Beware the herd. Beware the herd as stalks these grounds, which feed on anything she catches. He must pass, keep watch burning all. Curse creatures hate the light of the herd. Hey. We're not going to go that way yet, because we do not have a torch. I don't think a torch is. Way down. Will we go anywhere else? I'm gonna have something. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oops. So, it is back to the way I was going. Just wanted to double check to make sure there was nothing down there. Um. Did. to get up here now. Yeah. 
So it says you need a torch. Don't like the light. If this were out. Was bored. All sub bored. It looks like there's some. Oh, we're on. I mean, I am petrified. <laughs> I'm expecting to run into something that could not be running. That's bored. I mean, I don't like it. It's too much of an open space. Okay, so we made it. We made it. It sounds like a cliche, but I thought monsters were just in books and movies, in our dreams. But on the island, there were monsters everywhere. That blind creature. It almost killed me. The horrific thing in the cave. And Eric had taken my son. I wanted to hurt them all. I wanted to just... I wanted them to be scared. Does that make me a monster too? We're at the beginning of it. There's a cross.
I'm gonna say it's not the last. I was about to say, that's not the last we've heard of that horde. Hey, um, what we'll do, guys, is we'll end it there, um, because it's a checkpoint. Uh, there's no saving in this game. I'm hoping when we come back, <laughs> it will load us straight here. Um, thank you. Uh, obviously, I've had a couple of weeks off and I'm back. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I didn't think I would. Um, but it really reminds me of a different game I I streamed for a charity event on Twitch, um, where it was um it was very much like this. You're in the woods, but it was first person, and that was scary as hell. I jumped a lot of that. And at the moment, I'm jumping at this. Um, more the anticipation of everything. But yeah. Um, but until next time, guys. Uh, thank you for joining. And I'll see you next time.